Okay, it's December 29th, 2018, and several people have received or given themselves Electric Quilt 8 for Christmas. And now you want to know how to take an image and turn it into a block. So here it is, step by step. First off, you open EQ8, and here's what you see. Now look at about the middle of the screen and you're going to see a little thing that says design block from scratch. Click on that and now your screen looks like this. This is where you get a little bit tempted because what you want to do is click on paste or applicate or something like that but don't because whether if you haven't used EQ8 before, here's the deal. You make a block, and then you decide if you want an applicator piece or paper piece or whatever else you can think of, which is great because if you decide that you later want to change from piece to applique, you don't have to start over. So get that out of your mind. You don't start with the concept in mind. You start with your block. Then you decide what kind of block it is. So don't click on paste or anything like that. Go to the upper left of your screen. You're going to see a tab that says draw. Click on draw and your screen looks like this. Now here's where you can pick a size. Um, if you want a square, you can start with 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, whatever you want. Rectangle, if you've got a concept of what shape you want it, make it that shape. You can change the size, bigger, smaller later, but it would be difficult to work out and get an image into a square and then decide that it needs to be rectangular or something. So if you know that, change the size here. You can change it either by dragging or um, the sides, corners, whatever, or you can go to the top right above your grid and just where it says... 8.000 and the next line says 6.000 just click on that and change it so you can change it to six by six or something like that so then once you get it the size the shape you want and maybe the size you want if you know that then if you look toward the upper left you're going to see a tab that says not a tab but an icon i guess that says um tracing image click on that and your screen turns into this You can see that's a pretty exciting screen. So now, if you go a couple inches down, a couple inches to the right from the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see tracing image tools, and there's going to be one that says import image. Click on that, your screen turns into this. Now that's going to take you into a file directory of the EQ8 file subfolder images. And if you've not done this before, that images is going to be blank. So you can either find your image that you want to trace and drag or cut and paste or copy and paste it into EQ8 images, or you can go from this screen that's on your um, screen now and just um, navigate to where that image is. And if you see on mine, um, I'm not making this, so I'm just going to do what I've already done. You see there's a picture, well, there's an ac actual block that I did of a butterfly, and then there's an image of a butterfly that I used to trace. It's called Flutterby, so I'm just going to click on that Flutterby image and then my screen turns into this. You may have figured out you have to double click on it. That, that I'm sure you did. If not, and it's not working, go back, double click on it. Now, this screen you can um, you can just click OK and it'll fit it in there. But you'll see that my 
butterfly is not square, my block is, and it'll just fit it in there with some top and bottom space on it. If you want to make it square, just do it there. Also, you can play with um, some brightness down at the bottom. There's a slider that shows you can you can make it barely visible or visible. Once you click OK, if you don't like it or if it doesn't fit, just start over. So um, here's what happens when I put mine into my block. You'll see I didn't take the time to make it the right shape or change the um, brightness of it or anything like that. Um, I just clicked OK. It put it in there. Um, now if you look on the upper left, you have right where you found um, import image. Next to that is um, drawing tools. Click on that and your screen turns into this. And from there you just start drawing and it draws right over it and the most important thing if you've not if you're new to this the thing that I had the most trouble with is every single line has to touch the edge or another line and sometimes you go to um, color it and you find out that half your does design just disappeared and you have to redo those and then you've um, the problem is if the lines are not touching, in other words, it can't be pieced, then it just discards that and you lose your work. So um, once you learn it, you'll never do it again. But make sure those lines are touching, even if it means blowing your screen up so big that um, you can see what's touching and what's not. It will not let you do the order or coloring or anything like that until all the lines are touching. So do make sure that they touch. If you use your, um, this you, you'll get in basic tutorials, do your um, click to or whatever that tool is called and then that doesn't happen. But if you get into problems where you just traced a wing of your butterfly or your whatever image and you go to color it or put fabric in it and it has disappeared that's the problem and that's a that's something it's hard to search for because nobody tells you that I had to learn it the long way so um, one more thing I want to show you is if you will look kind of up on the top of your screen a little to the right um, there's a picture that says, um, hold on a second, I'll get that for you. It looks like a Christmas tree with a pencil on it. It's all the way to the right of your tools. Um, if you click on that, you get this. Uh-oh, what happened? There went my image. I can't trace it anymore. Click on it again. It's back. Sometimes it gets in your way. And um, especially if you start deviating from the design a little bit. So that's how you just get that image to go away, come back. When you go, at some point, when you go to save or exit this design, it's going to ask you if you want to save that to your sketchbook. Um, if you're not really using sketchbooks yet, it can't hurt to do it, get in the habit. Or if you can save it to images, whatever. But the sketchbook is... Um, Helpful if you're going, to, particularly if you're going to make more than one block. In if you're making a, a fuller quilter design or something. So anyway, quick step by step on how to do that. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this helps. Bye.